I want to show you a teaching and it is confirming pretty much the same things I have been telling you all. It is amazing. So this is confirmation to me. God bless you. It tells us, do not be unaware to entertain strangers. Sometimes they may be angels in disguise. So in Lord's case, the stranger was an angel. And he was so kind. He was merciful. He was very, very hospitable. You know, if you read Matthew 25, verses 35 to 40, the Lord Jesus said, I was hungry and you fed me. I was thirsty, you gave me drink. I was naked and you clothed me. And the righteous asked the Lord, Lord, when did we do all that for you? When you have done unto the least of my brothers, you have done it unto me. So when you are kind and merciful to the less privileged people, you are doing it unto the Lord himself. But when you hold back because you think you need it, then you are being self-centered, you know. When you hold back, when you hoard up treasures for yourself, thinking that you need it for rainy days. You know, you heard it being said, your dollar is going to crash. When the dollar crashes, all the tons of money you have in your account are useless. All the hoarding up of your wealth for your own self, for rainy days, for emergencies, are useless. Because they all become zeros. What good is it? When you have, you could have given it away to the poor. When you have, you could have given it away to genuine works of God. You know, that's exactly what the widow of Zarephath did. She was out in the town picking up some sticks to cook one last meal, just two raisins or two muffins for her and her son, last meal of their lives. And the prophet Elijah comes into town and the Lord told him, look at that widow, that woman. Yes, she's the one. I have appointed her to take care of you. Elijah did not know that poor woman is going to die. So he went up to said, give me some food to eat. So she looked at him and he said, sir, I only have this one handful of flour. I'm going to bake two muffins. One for my son, one for me. That's the last meal we are going to eat, and then we are going to pray, and we are going to die. So he said, I don't care about all that. <laughs> if you want to die, you can die. But let me eat. So that woman thought about that logic. Yeah, why not? If I eat this meal, I'm going to die. If I don't eat, I'm going to die. So why eat and then die when I can give this meal to this prophet of God? He needs to live. If he lived, he could bring the oracles of God for the entire nation. He brings the government of God. He is a spokesman of God. So he needs to survive more than I do. Look at the sacrificial attitude of that Zarephath widow. She was so sacrificial. She thought like that. She said, all right. She begged him the two muffins. He ate those two muffins, drank some water, and he blurted. <laughs> Come on, don't you blurt? <laughs> you people react as if 
the indians are the only people in the world who blow up when they eat don't you we all do if you are a human you blow up so as he blurred he said woman what do you have in your house she said what more is there in my house you cleaned up everything i only have empty vessels in my house he said go till the rain comes at my word the tiny weeny bits of flower in your those vessels and the little drop of oil in the bottle will never run short of supply till i say it and she said hmm? <laughs> and she went back home he was their guest she made an upper room for him you know to stay and they scooped up from the bowl flower came flower came flower came like like the story of my milk it never stopped supplied until 3 years later look at that can you beat god you can't before you can have this kind of miracle provision you must have this attitude of giving sacrificial giving not thinking for your own self we must learn to not be self centered stop that stop that the sooner you will learn to crucify your flesh to crucify that self the greater will be your victory to walk in glory Amen. die to self which is quite difficult because we love ourselves so much right we love too much if not three much <laughs> why always stop at two no you can go to three or four 